Hey, we're starting. We're starting what? Oh, hey guys. Welcome scientists to Mr. Patrick's Laboratory. I am pretty excited that you're here today. Hey, in the last video, I hope you were, you remember some of the things I gave you as a job to do. Remember last time we had a competition between you and your parents for balancing eggs? Did you do that? Did you have a good time? Actually, some of my new scientist friends have sent me pictures of you doing the gob of the balancing of eggs against your parents and some of you you even beat your parents i'm super glad you did that we also did an invisible gas remember that poured things together and we were able to scoop it out really really slow even put out a fire saw some videos of that too those were awesome if you didn't get a chance go back on the youtube page or go back on the facebook page you can see the last video it worked out really good third thing we did was we did tie-dye and we talked about our neighbors that might live next door and the tie-dye cards writing notes that one was awesome. I saw people, they had stuff all over their hands. Looked like you had a great time. Today we're gonna to do something very different. And as always, we need to be careful. We've always got our... Our goggles, you know that sound. We've always got our goggles on. And so anytime we're dealing with chemicals, we have our goggles. Now today we're gonna to do something really different. I'm gonna do something, our first experiment's gonna take a little bit of time to set up, so be ready for it. And our second one goes a little faster. One's for a little bit older kids, one's for younger kids. But the younger kids can do the first one as well. Now, this is the first time. I'm pretty excited about this when I have my first guest. Remember in the first video, I told you that I had some guest stars, and they didn't even know that they were going to be a part of it. So what better guest to have than my own kids? So here comes my first one. Here comes Brayden. Brayden's home from college like a lot of other college kids. He's home from uh, college right now. And uh, so I've got to show you somebody else before we get too far. We were talking about goggles, Brayden. Uh, and the kids were making some goggles. Did you uh, make any goggles? I did. I made some really, what I think are pretty awesome goggles. Awesome. What'd you, what'd you make that out of? Toilet paper rolls. Oh, we have some of those around. That's for sure these exactly. days. It's the stuff on them that we're really searching for. And so what'd you do? I just taped them together. I think they look good. Hey, yeah, you can protect your eyes. And I bet you can actually zoom in. Hey, actually, you can tell we're related. <laughs> Oh, look at our other guy. Yeah, check him out. He even wears goggles. We're being safe here. That's our dog, Baxter. He's our security dog. Shh, don't make him mad. Hey, I think we're related. You know why? Because I actually had the same idea, except uh, mine were a little bit bigger. I like blue. Okay, well, okay, see, I can use these when it's, uh, oh, yeah, these were uh, paper towel rolls. All, yeah. kinds, all kinds of kids sent me pictures, and I saw swim goggles snow goggles, I saw all kinds of stuff. It was awesome, but we're not gonna need those today, Brayden. We're gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna pull my goggles up. We're gonna do something today called physical properties. All right. Physical properties deal with this thing called matter. Now, matter is a real word. It's a generic word, and it, what I mean by that is we don't go to the store and buy matter. Everything's made of matter. You're made of matter, I'm made of matter, table's made of matter. It is what makes up all things. Okay, and then we, in science, we have these words, sometimes they're a little difficult. Don't let the words get you, kids. Sometimes we gotta be really careful. But in the word matter, it's what makes everything in the universe. The only thing that really doesn't have matter in it is energy. And most of us know what energy is, but matter is what makes up most things. Now, one of the parts of matter is to have mass and take up space. Now, taking up space, now watch this. I bet if you stood behind me, you could see him on both sides of me. He takes up more space than me. He's taller than me. I wish I were taller, but that's a problem. Um, but the other part has to do with mass. Okay, mass sometimes gets us, because we think mass is how heavy we are. It's not really, Brady. You right. learned this, because uh, you did school before. Did. So I'm gonna show it like this. I'm gonna take my jacket, and we talk about, we know people that uh, will lift weights, and they wanna have muscle mass. When they have muscle mass, it's how much stuff is in an object. It's how much muscle is in there. And so how much muscle in there is really how much I'm looking for, and, Okay, you have a little bit more muscle mass. Let's see that again. Oh, don't hurt yourself, but okay, yeah. Muscle mass, it's how much is in there. So we deal with mass and volume, and when you put those things together, I'm gonna put it back on, because if I'm gonna do science, I better have my lab coat on. Thank you very much, Brayden. And so what we deal with is what is called density. Now density, kids, if you were to put your finger into water, you know what that feels like, but if you put your finger into like shampoo, it feels different, it's sort of thicker. There's actually a technical word for my older kids called viscosity. That's the, can you say that? Viscity. 
Close. Viscosity starts with a V. Viscosity. Viscosity. He got it. That's a college kid right there. And so you stick it the thicker that it is, okay, like cordial, all kinds of stuff. And so we're going to make something really cool, Bray, okay. and I'm going to let you put it together. Now, we're going to move the camera over here so that you can see what all the materials are that we're going to be using today. In this density cylinder is what they call it. We're going to have honey, and you'll see that there is a label and it has a number. We'll talk about the number here in a minute. Light corn syrup, okay? Now I'm gonna show you that I, I put food coloring with it because it'll help us out here in a little bit and you'll see why. I have dish soap. Hmm, wonder what dish soap that is. We're not gonna call out labels, but I have dish soap. You'll notice we all have water at home, but I don't, I don't have that one on purpose. I'll tell you why later. Vegetable oil, and that's its normal color. Baby oil, we don't have any of that at our house. We don't have any babies anymore, but some of you might have baby oil, and so I put that on the list. And then we have rubbing alcohol. Now rubbing alcohol isn't this color. I added green to it to make it do exactly what we want it to do. And you'll notice there's numbers there and we're gonna come back to each one of those. And so what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna make a density cylinder. Now parents, I want, it, want you to understand all these things that I'm doing in these videos are not experiments that I'm making up. They're, I'm basically showing you how to do them. You can look them up on the internet, but if I do them with you, I always found if somebody shows me, I can do it. Brayden, here it comes. Good job, way to catch. He used to be a baseball player. Okay, nobody's a baseball player right now. But anyway, he used to be a baseball player. And so what we're gonna do is we can take an object like this or this, it doesn't matter, but we're going to make a density cylinder. And so in, for today, let's make a small one, okay. but different shapes will give us different things. Like that one's really, really good throw. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're going to make a density cylinder. So Braden, one at a time, I'm gonna bring you these things. Now I need to tell you, when you go to do this, listen very carefully. You're gonna pour slow, okay? Because we really don't want them to mix. What, what's really gonna happen is we're gonna have layers. We want those layers to work out. So you wanna pour right down the middle of that and try to hit the bottom as best you can. He's gonna pour honey. It's a, some of these are a little slower. Now kids, watch this. Look how slow that is. Look at the viscosity on that. That is really thick stuff, okay? And so you're gonna pour as much of that in there as you can and just keep going. You're doing awesome. It's taking a long time. It does take a long time because it's really, really uh, pretty thick. Okay, let's see how we're doing. Oh, yeah, we're, we're getting a good layer on the bottom. I'm going to look from the side myself. Oh, yeah, look at us. We're doing awesome. Great job, Braden. All right. Okay. Move on. Yeah, yeah, we can move on. Okay, you can stop that one. That's good. Trying to shoot down the middle. Now, I'm going to give it a little bit of burst from the original container just because it's so thick coming out of there. I missed. I missed. Remember, kids, I said science doesn't always work right the first time. We do the best we can, especially when you're live. It's okay. Oh, thanks for the help, Brayden. Okay, thank you. And then next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do light corn syrup, all right? He's gonna do the same thing. You're gonna pour right down the middle on it, trying to go as slow as you can. This one's gonna slow, flow just a little faster. Pouring it right over the top. Now, look how that sits on top of that. All right, yeah, that's sitting on there really good. Now, you may think, why did he put the red in it? It's so you're gonna be able to see Different layers. Are you seeing it already? I can. It's sitting right on top of it. You're doing an awesome job, Brayden. I should have you help me every single time. So keep going, keep going, keep going. We're going to get as much out of that little cup as we can. Parents, as you go along, you can do this in different ways. I've seen it right. done where just go just a little longer. Yeah, if you can get a little bit more. Parents, I've seen where people don't use little cups like this. They don't have it. They can actually use like a turkey baster or a dropper if you have it. Just making that work out for you. That's great, Braden. Awesome. I'll take that cup from you. Next is going to be dish soap. And you're going to do the same thing. Trying to pour as slow as you can right down the middle, not touch the sides like I did. You're going to pour, pour, pour. Now you're going to see this trying to go through as you watch the video, but you'll watch it start separating out. Now, why does it do that? Oh, this blue layer is awesome. It is awesome. Look at the different layers, man. And that one's a little, little easier to pour, wasn't it, Braden? It was a lot easier a lot, to pour. You remember that V word? Because it's not, doesn't have as much viscosity. You got it right. Very good. Now, the next layer you can put in is water, but we're going to skip water. Again, I'm going to show you in a minute why, but we're going to do vegetable oil. Now, we're going to be really different here. I have a funnel. I was able to go back to my school and get a funnel before they closed the school just to make my life a little easier. So you're going to notice I'm going to pour this at an angle so it's going to run down the side of the container as best as I can. And I'm just holding the funnel for him as he goes. He's doing a great job. Keep pouring. Keep pouring. Get in there, vegetable oil. There we Man, go. I bet you can see. I can see it. Oh, man. 
This is better than what I did when I was practicing. Again, I should have you doing this for me. After that, could be something different. We're going to put our last layer in the braiding. Our last one, I'm going to wash this. I'll grab my other funnel real quick. Is going to be, uh, this one is rubbing alcohol. Now, this one's green. Remember, I added food coloring. Now, I'm going to bend this one over to the side just a little bit, braiding as slow as you can. Now, most of us know that oil and water don't mix. This is a great lesson, parents, for kids. We're going to give it just a second. Look what's happening there. Isn't that awesome? Now, you're going to see we had honey, and then we had light corn syrup. There's that red color you can see. And then you had dish soap, which was blue. And then you had vegetable oil. And then you had the rubbing alcohol, all of the different ones. Now, if you decide to put water in, water will go between the soap and the vegetable oil. Now, for my older kids, when you deal with density, what you're going to find is that the density of the soap is really close to water. Because all of us know that soap and water mix. And so if you're not really careful, the water will mix with the soap and you can't see two layers. It's really hard to do that one. I have a bigger version. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to bring this over. Leave that one right there, Marie. Okay. Here is the one that I did earlier just to make sure everybody could see. Let's see how we did. Um, I have a water layer in there, and you can see the water layer. It took a long time to separate. That water layer is right there between the soap and the vegetable oil. Now, parents, if you choose to do water, you want to do a funnel. Lean this bottle over. I picked a bigger one and I didn't put very much in it, but that's okay. And so <clears throat> what I did was I ran the water down the side, trying not to mix it too much. But you'll also know, and my older kids, I bet you can figure this one out. Water is clear and I can see that, but it's got a little bit of green to it. I'm not going to tell you the answer, but I wonder why the water is a little green. By the way, we have good water. We don't have green water that comes out of the sink. I wonder what that is, okay? Now, what we're gonna do at this point is something really, really cool. Now, Brayden, what we would do at this point is we're gonna take the lid and put that on, but we're gonna do it in a little different way. Hey, kids, many of you have, your mom has a hot glue gun at home, and what you're gonna wanna do is we're gonna make this permanent because you don't wanna spill this in the house, right, mom? Ooh, you'll notice that my table has a tablecloth on it. My wife was gonna, I wasn't gonna be able to live here anymore. But anyway, we got a white tablecloth because I almost ruined this last time, and so my island's safe. And so what you're going to want to do is take a hot glue gun, and what you're going to do is let your mom help you. I wonder why. It's gonna, you're really going to have to be careful with this one because when you go along, it's gonna, you're going to put it around the edge, and then what you're going to do is you're going to permanently seal it. Brayden, do you know why we have to be super careful with this? Uh, is I, it because it's hot? Yeah, check. Because it's it's hot, hot, hot. And when you put that hot glue on that thing and you put that lid on, so go ahead and put it on tight for right now. We're not going to spill it. What's going to happen is that becomes permanent. And when it's permanent, we don't have to worry about it spilling. Now, kids, when that is dried, now here's where you got to be careful. That hot glue will sometimes melt that plastic. And so parents, when you go to put that on, you want to almost get it hot, unplug it, let it get to where it's still gooping out a little bit. Goop is a very technical term. Put it around the edge, put the lid on there really good, and then make sure it's on there because we're gonna do something really cool, Brayden. You're gonna do it and so am I. We're going to try out our density cylinder and it looks like this. Ready, Brayden? Like this, and then you go back. We messed it up. Huh, look at Brayden's. Look what's happening there. Wow, it's changing. Now look at mine, it's trying to catch it. It's trying, look at it separate. Now I'm gonna do mine one more time. Look how crazy that gets. Woo! Now here's my challenge for you kids. With your parents, you can pick some different things at home than what I picked. There's all kinds of liquids. Milk, you could pick shampoo. If you're not sure, then you can Google it and figure out what it is. A soda, especially one that's flat, that's a perfect thing for this, but you need to Google it. Why? Now I'm gonna show you on this paper real quick. See this number? That's its density. Honey was the first one I put in there, right? If it's it's the first one I put in there, it's the most dense. It has the most what, Braden? Viscosity. That's right, it has the most viscosity. And so it goes down to the bottom. It's super thick, it's very, very dense. And so you can pick different things, whatever you have at your house. Again, we're trying to pick things that are at your household. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this thing over here and we're gonna see what happens with it later. Thanks for helping me, Braden. Now, not only do I have, um, my son come and help me. I also have 
the person that was holding Baxter, the security dog, and that's my daughter, Blair. Blair's an elementary school teacher, and she's come to hang out with us today, and we're going to do something with physical properties. Now, Brayden and I were just doing physical properties with density. Ah, uh, were you paying attention? What were the different liquids they were all separating by? That was that B word. Sounds like biscuit. Not that. And that makes Viscosity. me hungry. Viscosity. Viscosity. But the scientific word we were using in this, this is a density cylinder. So they all sort of work together. Mm -hmm. Okay? We're going to do something really different with you today. Okay? What we're going to do, and this can be for younger kids. Hey, if you're an older kid and you're an artist, you know, we're all different. I'll tell you something about my son while my daughter's setting up stuff. My son, you know, I'm doing science. I've been doing science for a long time. My kids can do science, but that's not their favorite thing. They like doing other things. My son likes to sing. He plays guitar and sings and wants to be a music minister, and he's doing some really cool things with that, and that is his gift, and that's awesome. But we're doing some fun things together, even if it's not, I'm not best at that. Why? Because we can try, and we can have fun. As an elementary school teacher, we're going to do something along the lines with this, and Blair is, Blair is a person that she likes science in school, but she likes little boys and girls, and so she likes to do school with kids. Okay, she's a fifth grade teacher right now. And so what we're going to do, our artist kids would be great at this. That's where I'm not very good. I'm not very good at artist stuff, so you're going to have to help me, okay? Okay, well, I got you a piece of paper. Perfect. I tore this off earlier. I think it's perfect. I did great. It is perfect. What am I going to do? Okay, so do you know what these are? Um, Colored rocks that we found in the backyard. Not colored rocks. Is it gum? Why don't you look one more time? Oh, I see paper in there. Uh, it's crayons. It is crayons. It is crayons. Okay, not colored rocks. Not, not colored. Not gum. Not gum. Don't eat this. I uh, don't eat it. Kids, don't, don't eat it. it. I'm not going to eat it. It gets stuck in your teeth. It does. Okay, so these are crayons, and we took some old crayons that we had that we've colored with before a long time ago, and we're just not using them anymore. Perfect. They're old crayons. Perfect. We took the paper off of them, mm -hmm. and then we crushed them. We put them in a baggie, and we crushed them. Okay. okay, so like if I wanted to crush them at home, put them like in two baggies. I saw you doing this, and then you put like a rolling pin, yeah. and you can roll it. That gives you muscle mass. <laughs> I'm gonna catch you, Braden. Um, or you can, um, you could take. Mom and Dad can help you with it, and you can crush it by smashing it. <laughs> but you want smaller pieces. Oh, how'd you get those little little ones? Yes. Yeah, so these little little ones we crushed a little bit too much. Yeah, I think so. We didn't want them quite this tiny. Okay. But we did have end up getting some bigger pieces, but at home, a lot of you might have a grater, which it does turn color, so you'd have to ask permission with mom and dad before you take it. I don't like crayon in my cheese. Me neither. Okay, and so this would have to be one that you have to really clean. So after this, yes. before mom gets us, we gotta clean that. We do have to clean it. But you take these crayons, you mm -hmm. smush them up, and you do want some bigger pieces. Got it. Okay. What are we doing? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some crayon pieces just with your hands perfect and spread them out on your wax paper this is just regular wax paper that mom and dad probably have at home gotcha okay gotcha we had in the drawer right here that's where i got yes, it earlier we had it in the drawer so you can do Ooh. as much as you want you can do as little as you want right you, you said choose. spread it out oh god yes, spread it out a little bit but what you don't want is you don't want it out at the edges Okay. And I'll show you why in just a minute. Okay, correct. But you perfect. want it toward the middle. Got it. Okay. Then so we're good. once you do that and you have all of your colors, fold your wax paper in half. So some of your crayons are going to fall over a little bit. That's oh, okay. they're too smashed together. Can I spread them out yep, again? Yeah, you can spread them out again. Ah, yes. I can do this craft. Yes. But it's physical property. So what are we going to do with physical property? So now I have wax paper with crayons. What are we doing? Yep. So what you're going to do now is a lot of parents, I think your mom probably has one. Uh-huh. Does your mom have a blow dryer? She does. For her hair? Yes. Okay. Blow dry the dog too if you have to. Okay, sometimes you blow dry the dog, but we are going to take a blow dryer and yeah. we're gonna start melting them. Melting it. Oh, that means uh, we got a quick warning here, kids. Be ready, be ready. Listen, this is gonna get, it's gonna get hot, hot, hot. You need to know this. Watch out. Be careful. Okay, Blair, I'm ready to watch. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to get the blow dryer okay. that I borrowed from my mom. Perfect. And is it okay if I also blow dry yours in a little oh, bit? Oh, that's perfect? awesome because I'm not very good at that. I'm going to move this so we don't blow it off on the so floor and we idea. get in trouble. So you're going to turn up the heat a little bit. This is where you're going to want mom's help, though. Okay. Okay, so right. don't do it by yourself. All right, kids, here's what's happening right now. The physical properties of this 
physical properties, this one is going from more of a solid toward a liquid. It's melting. Melting is also a physical property. Hey, let me help you out while she's doing this. Takes a minute. Physical properties are things we can tell, like the color of something, the shape of something, the size of something, texture of something, if it's smooth or it's rough. There's lots of different physical properties. So we're changing this from being more crayons that have in blocks or look like little tiny rocks to making them a lot more liquidy and smooth. And so, wow, that turned out cool. What? It, woo! And I bet that's really hot. It is warm, so okay. you need to be careful. Yes. That's why we used a towel, just uh -huh. in case it leaked out, because I'll, I'll give you a sneak peek. We did melt out a little bit earlier. You and I... So... You and I have to apologize to mom. Yes, oh gosh. We do. We have to, yeah, it leaked out. We did but that accidentally. You need to use something that mom is okay with getting a little bit dirty. Okay. So you have it now and it's cooling off. But if you notice, okay. Look how mine's not, different. Look how mine's yeah. different. We won't melt mine. Mine is the way it was. And then through this physical property of melting that you did with us, we melted it down. I feel there's still some hard spots, but it can be, it can be, look at that one's really liquidy. They can be all mm -hmm. kinds. Yeah. It's okay if there are chunks. Some of them are still pretty big pieces, but that's okay. Oh, look at the blue and green. They mix together. Yeah, that's really cool. That's a cool physical property also. They can mix together. Cool. What are you going to do with it next? Okay. So this is where you get to be creative. So we made one earlier. It's a little bit smaller. I'll pretend this is mine. Perfect. There you go. Yes. Now what you can do with them, one option is you can take a toilet paper roll. I got a lot of those at home. You have some of those. Woo and you can take it and you put it on the other end. Yep. And then look through it, looking toward the light. What do you see? Oh, it's moving around. Some it of the is. pieces are moving. Oh, I, I saw this when I was a kid. That, uh, it's called a kaleidoscope. Uh -huh. I have a kaleidoscope and if I turn it over the other way, ow, some fell out. Sorry. Sorry, Mom. I'll get that one. But I can see different colors. I bet if I went outside and it's brighter, I could see even more. Yes, you could do That's that. That's awesome. Now, we can also take a piece of paper. Yeah. Earlier, we took, it's folded up and taped, but we took some notebook paper. Yes. And we cut a heart into it. Oh, I saw what you did. You turned it like this mm -hmm. and then cut a heart out of it. For those of you that are not artists like me, she just folded it twice cut out a heart and when then you open it up there it is now you can do any shape you want you can make yep. a star i've had kids at school that do origami and do all kinds of, you can make crazy stuff so you go can. ahead so once you have that paper when you open it you have two hearts uh -huh. and you can actually set the crayon inside right and fold it up and then cut the wax paper in the edges tape it or glue it down perfect and i heard you the other day talking about some people might have old neighbors that can't get out of the whoa, house whoa, right whoa. Now. what if my neighbor's young okay so you might have some young neighbors okay, good. too okay good, old good. or young neighbors perfect. okay that can't really get out of the house right now or yes. we don't want to be around a lot of people yes so what you can do is turn this into a card you can write them a note and then you can stick it in their mailbox oh that's awesome yeah that's awesome. And then one more thing that we actually did earlier. You can do even more with that? You can. Okay. If you come over here, we made one earlier, and we made it into a frame with just a box. We made a frame with a box. And then you can stick it in your window, and whenever the sun is shining right through your window, you'll see a lot of colors. Because I made that. You did. That's awesome. Now, you can also decorate or paint the outside of the frame yes. or you can write somebody's name on it that could also be a craft you could give somebody that's right that you can be so artistic with that all right all right kids here's what we're gonna do it's your turn when you're at home you saw us do it all now Brayden come up here because we're gonna do one more thing for everybody stay here with me Blair and so what we're going to do hey here's your project okay so you have a way of doing physical properties you have a way of doing physical properties look how it turned out Oh man, this is a great discussion with you and your parents. Why did that separate and that? What's happening there? What's happening there? Figure that out with your parents. But we have one more for you. All three of us have one more for you. And it looks like this. We're going to do one that's in between and see if you can figure it out. Now, I have nothing but a pitcher of water. And this is one you can do at home. And I have two sodas. That's what we're gonna call them, two sodas. Now watch it, watch this kids. I'm gonna put it inside. I'm gonna get the air out from under them and I want you to watch what's happening. Okay, as Miss Christy gets really close. Now I have the label cover, but I want you to notice, I'm gonna turn it a little bit for so she can see it. There it is right there. Huh, made by the same company, but they're not floating the same. 
Now, this has to do with uh, buoyancy for my older kids. Buoyancy, how things float. Some things float, some things don't. And so that's all right. But I want you to figure out, this is your discussion with your parents. Why do you think that happened? Why does this one sink more than this one? I bet you can figure it out. You're really smart. Okay, one more good look at it. All right, perfect. Goes with our density cylinder and then our physical properties. There's all of these are physical properties. Hope you had a great time. Now, I got one more thing for you. Okay, remember today's Friday. The next time we're gonna meet is Monday at three o'clock. Same time, three o'clock central time. But in this time we're you're home, you're home, college is out. People are home. I hope you're having a good time doing some of this stuff. I hope you're trying it. Give us some pictures down below. Leave us a mark. Share it with your friends. Maybe somebody that lives in another state that might be home and stuck. Well, we have somebody that we know that's sort of stuck at home. I have twin nieces that are, it's their 14th birthday today. The birthday party had to be canceled. They couldn't do all the stuff they wanted to do. But we want to say happy, happy birthday. birthday to Ava and Ellie on your 14th birthday. Hey, come back and see us. We're going to have a great time at... Mr. Patrick's Kitchen Laboratory. Ah, I got gotcha. you. It's my laboratory and you said it. Ah, have a great day. Yeah.